What's up guys, Radioactive Blue Gaming here, welcome back to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be um, checking out this um, steamship, which I'm not going to bother to pronounce the name of, because I am terrible at pronouncing, and I don't want to mispronounce it. Yeah, it's a steamship, it, um, it runs off paddles, it's a paddle steamship, it doesn't use a um, propeller. Which is pretty cool. I have seen um ships like this in Stormworks. It does move relatively fast though. Well, it is electric and there is no actual functional steam in the game. And it's got these uh, piston looking things that don't actually really affect the engine. It's just there for cosmetic and as aesthetic purposes. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this episode of Stormworks, make sure, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and let's get right into the sinking of this uh, thing. Because all ships in Stormworks have to sink eventually, because that's how Stormworks works. Yeah, yeah that rhymed. Well, no, Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so we have to start the sinking already. Okay, let's do this fast. I want to see how well the sum um, thing can survive megalodons and high waves. We are going into the waves right now. I know it is sinkable because it said it was sinkable. It's got lifeboats just in case some. Um, Things get a bit crazy. It is a very good ship though, it looks really cool. You have to start it manually, not top. Because I think the ship's um, starting to slow down a bit because it's going into the wind. Okay, I want to check. How much of a speed difference is there? Okay, no, 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 no. No. I don't know how fast we're going. Okay, that's a magla. Why is the ship constantly listing? Oh no. Quick, where's the throttle? Okay. Okay, now we have it going sort of up point now. I do want to know because this thing seems to be doing a full circle back. the bay of the creative island. You see how it handles a giant tsunami. And anyway, I just need to turn turned on the distress system. Engines are running at full speed and will continue to run because I basically have unlimited fuel and unlimited ele unlimited electricity. Which I guess is how these um 
little thing, the paddles on the side work. How much FPS do I have? Oh, nice smooth 60. Okay, we're going up. Steamship versus a giant tsunami. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, the cabin isn't sealed. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus. Oh no, we're capsizing. So one more my glove on. Oh, the Megalodon has hit us. Okay. The ship is sort of tilting forward. Yep, and I need another tsunami to um flip the ship over because we are having some major issues. Oh no, we are sinking. We are sinking fast, oh no. Oh no, get to the lifeboat. Please. Yeah, we're tilting back. Come on, at least the lifeboat. No. Yeah. Come on, we need to push it. Yeah. Man, that sank fast. Where's the lifeboats? There's no lifeboats. Oh no. Do I have a, I have an idea to fix this? This massive thing. Yeah. This is gonna be a very Oh wait, it doesn't actually run that badly. Still this is quite a massive ship. Captain 
this instrument. Please tell me I don't need the. I mean, it's just the. Go full steam ahead. Jeez, this thing. Man, it feels good to have actual fast moving ships. Imagining planting a bomb on this one is quite hollow on the inside. I guess that's why it's running so smooth. It's even got a bit of a laser depth finder. It's got a bilge pump. Flares are uh, getting launched. Oh, yeah, I know where they're getting launched. From. Yeah, they're all over there on the top. For some reason, the megalodons just do not want to come. Oh, now they want to come. This thing turns pretty damn quick. Let's see what happens when we go away. Yeah, now we're... Now it's starting to go crazy. Man, what a crazy, um... Time in Stormworks it's been. Um, a lot of our sharks. And flares. They are very powerful flares, though, those flares. Oh no, we're listing. Oh no, the wind's pushing us. Turn. No. I think they've buffed up the wind a lot. Yeah, they have actually. Yeah, I remember now. They buffed up the wind super. So it now just absolutely annihilates your ships. Oh, we've been hit. Don't hit me like megalodons. I'm trying to get the ships ready. Good thing it has that internal stabilizer. We're gonna tilt as soon as that's broken that internal stabilizer. Probably needs to like make it heavier. Oh there's multiple hull breaches. Water's gonna start getting in really quickly. Okay. Okay, we're nice and lit up. back here. Oh no. There's frontal bulkheads in the front. There's a keep active block over here. There's a lot of batteries in the front as well. Yeah, we abs are absolutely getting hammered. Yeah, we keep absolutely getting whacked. Okay. Okay, we need to go up. Okay, oh, we have lights. Let's turn all of them on. You know, scale for the content. I should scare them. Oh no, I see that giant megalodon coming. Oof. Yeah, we are absolutely getting destroyed. 
There's no water getting in though, he's not doing enough damage. Sooner or later they're gonna knock out the stabilization system. Are they fleeing? It looks like they're fleeing. Okay, we have deployed the flares. Okay, we're gonna get on this crane. Okay, we have a giant crane now. I think the Megalodons might have hit something. Interesting. Come on, Megalodon. No. What's the time? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, it seems like a alright place to end the episode. So I'm gonna end this episode here, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and remember. Always be careful where you go and when you're playing a video, what you're doing in the video, YouTube video, because I don't know what I'm doing, I just do not know what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave that there and I'll see you guys later.